hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me again today we are going to be talking about another interesting topic we are going to be talking discussing about the habit of very super attractive women what are some of their habits the secrets what do they do that keeps them attractive i know when i talk about attractive we all go towards beauty how a person looks and everything but today we are going to go in detail of what attraction we're talking about and how far it goes to be an attractive woman to be that woman that i mean i want to stand out so stay tuned please watch the video until the end and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click that button please subscribe and then don't forget to like if you enjoy this video so First and foremost, attract, being attractive is something we all want as women. All women want to feel attractive. All women want to be attractive day in, day out. You checking out how your weight is, checking out how you're feeling, checking about, checking out how you're looking, how is my hair, I need to go to the salon, and all that. All those things we do, we do them because we want to look attractive, we want to feel attractive because looking and feeling attractive really go along but it starts with the way you feel about yourself how you feel about your being attractive so that's what you're going to be talking about what are some of those things that we should do we should have in us that are going to make us attractive to men to other people or oh, but mostly as we as ladies we want to feel attractive in any way not really want them that want to keep track men to follow us or something like that but as a woman, whether you're married or not, we always want to feel attractive. I mean, I have a, I have a two-year-old, but she also, sometimes when I dress her up in the morning, she puts on something nice and she runs out to, to go to daddy and show him that, see what mommy, see what mommy put me in today. You get, so she also wants to look attractive. She feels, she wants to feel attractive. When she feels she's smart, she wants someone to tell her she is smart. So it's in our nature as women to always want to feel attractive, to always feel attractive, to always want to look attractive. So what are some of those things that we think we can do with ourselves? We think we can embrace in our lives in our day-to-day -day lives that will make us attractive and will keep us attractive as we all we all want and dream of being or hope to be first and foremost embracing humility there is no some there is no such thing as you being attractive without being human humility is the first thing about being attractive as a woman not even just a woman i can talk i can take a full example as a person her being human keeps make being kind and generous being human helping out others makes others feel they want to be around you make makes them feel they they enjoy your company they enjoy being with you because you treat them right i mean so humility is the starting point of your being attractive because being attractive is not generally about how you look. Imagine this kind of woman, you meet this kind of woman, or sometimes maybe in our schools, we've been in schools, high schools, ladies, you know, I don't know, you've seen some girls or you've watched some high school movies whereby you find this girl, she's really, really beautiful and she has everything, as you can say. She's this perfect, perfect beauty you could talk about. But it turns out she's a bitch. No one, no one, no one can stand her. She's not kind. She's, she takes everyone as trash. She feels she's on top of the world. This kind of person is not attractive. Yes, they look good, and men may want to be with them, may want to be with them, but not really because they want to spend the rest of their lives with, with them, but because maybe they just want to use them. The fact that they look good and they just want to use what they see, but they won't, they're not attractive as a person. It's not a woman you look at and be like, she's the woman I want to be with for the rest of my life. It's a woman you just want to walk out and show off with. She's the woman you just want to use and tell people she's my girlfriend, but she's not a woman you want to be with because she is not 
feel she doesn't she doesn't have humility she's not kind she's not generous so the first thing about being an attractive woman is having humility having empathy towards others having that kind generous heart towards others is a starting point of being an attractive woman secondly having a great sense of self-esteem self-esteem is i could define it in a way that how you it's practically confidence the confidence you have in yourself the value that you have in yourself having the, like displaying that self that self is that high self-esteem has something it adds to your attraction there are people you find you find a woman she's really beautiful like she turns out to really be this perfect perfect woman but she doesn't have the confidence she doesn't have the self-esteem she does not believe in herself she she doesn't display that if you cannot display that kind of self-esteem that kind of confidence your beauty cannot stand out so having a great self-esteem brings you out as an attractive women, woman if you look at most attractive women that you can talk about or the ones that you can really search about on the internet all those attractive women that we look at have the self-esteem they have that great self-esteem they believe in themselves they have that self-value they have that self-confidence you know that when they are walking down the street as they walk they have that great self self-confidence that confidence as they walk they feel they hold their heads high and that brings out your attraction as a woman it brings out that that bit of i mean i'm an attractive woman so to be an attractive woman to be and to be that kind of attractive woman you want to be you must have high self-esteem and high high self-esteem I, I it has to be a measurable one you don't have to really have this very high self-esteem that you don't value anyone's opinion but yourself so high self having high self-esteem you should you should be able to balance it and know that i shouldn't have so high but i shouldn't have so low i should have a normal self-esteem i can walk out to the public i can walk out i can stand up and do something stand out and speak out something and stand out for my point of view stand out for what i i think is right stand out for what i believe in all this is a normal and valuable level of self-esteem so to be an attractive woman you must be able to have high self-esteem the third point of good i can talk about is having self self-care yeah, self-care self-care is an important aspect of being an attractive woman taking care of your body watching out how you eat what you eat um how you look like take care of your, your, your yourself your skin your hair all these things are, are going to be able to bring you out as an attractive woman so being able to exercise daily to maintain your body to maintain your body weight watching out that what i drink what i eat what i take in do i sleep well all these things are going to contribute to how you're going to be how you're going to look how you're going to feel because the way you look Will also determine how you feel if you if you look good you're going to feel good and if you feel good you're going to actually be attractive you're going to be able to attract others if you feel good about yourself you'll be happy as you be happy you attract those around you and hence you be that attractive person that attractive woman that you want to be that you dream of being or that you admire to be and all that put together attractive women are generally happy people there is no such thing as you being i'm very beautiful um i have it all but most of the time you're gloomy i mean your your, your face is never lighting up your attraction the, the, your smile lightens up your face so a smile and being a happy person contributes to be to your being attractive if you're a happy person people will feel it will find it easy to add to to approach you but if you always do me and sad even if you look good even if you take good care of, your, of yourself even if you're very kind and generous but you always do me people will be like 
we are scared of approaching her. I mean, she's always sad. She's always gloomy. She never gives us that that chance to approach her. And even if she really looks good, we cannot find conversation because she's always sad. So happy like happiness, being an attractive woman, also entails being happy, keeping yourself happy, keeping yourself smiling. Make yourself happy. Do what makes you happy. Involve yourself in things that are going to make you happy smile most of the time i mean we all break down at some point i'll be like god this has been a tiring day this has been a really bad day for me but it doesn't mean you're going to display all that sadness out. thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video it has been patricia on let's chat with honest mommy don't forget to check out our website www.honestmommy.com for our blog posts as well as our shop we have a shop now so please go check out our stock we have different stuff like clothes but mostly for kids and don't forget to follow us on instagram facebook and twitter at home yes, mommy we love you don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like it has been patricia thank you so much for watching bye bye and see you next time